North Wales is, I think it's the home of the spirit of climbing. Without a doubt. You know, it's just the corner of the room, Clamberis, basically, where things go. Dirt collects, coins are there, you know. All sorts of things are there that aren't in England, basically. You can be a bit weird and strange and feel settled within North Wales. So I've got my normal climbing stuff and all the drawers and the rope and some water. And what have you got, Lewis? I've got the style. <laughs> all these people that are of a different generation as well that are still climbing so well. A lot of them choose to hang around here. You were very pumped on it, you know. I was not pumped. In 1983, I got pumped for about two minutes, and that's it. I found that I was very good at living in skips and eating out of bins. And when I came here, I just found like a community of people that could best me on each of these things, you know. <laughs> Misfits. Goodbye. Ne'er do wells, characters. There's a lot of rivalry, a lot, I mean, a lot of big egos, hey? They're quite hard routes we were doing, but we weren't making a song and dance about it now. I've got a very strong sense of place. I like this place. I think when you've got so many people collected in one place that have the same appreciation for that place, that's what makes it so special. Ah! That was cool. That was it has the best adventure tribe climbing, I would say, in the world. I wouldn't just say in the UK. I would say that's the best adventure trap in the world. Now, I've got memories. I look out the window and I, I know the places really well. So I, I consider myself really lucky like that. It's my place, it's my valley, and I'm very proud of it. That is some high-quality North Wales climbing. Half a good. 